Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Advanced Functions class. This is 7.3, the double angle formulae. So the double angle formulae are actually derived from the compound angle formulae, which we talked about in 7.2. Um, and we're going to derive those in class. I'm not going to talk about it a lot right now. For now, you can just memorize them. Sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cos theta. Tan 2 theta equals 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. And cos 2 theta could be any of these three things. 2 cos squared theta minus 1, 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, and cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. So those are the double angle formulae. We're going to use them. So this question asks us if cos theta equals negative 2 over 3 and 0 is less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 2 pi, determine the value of cos 2 theta and sine 2 theta. So cos 2 theta is really easy because um, we can do it with just cos theta. So let's start with cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So we can just uh, plug that value in, negative 2 over 3 squared minus 1, because that is what cos theta is. And so we'll get uh, 8 over 9 minus 1, which is negative 1 over 9. So that is the exact value for cos 2 theta. To find sine 2 theta, we know that sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. We do know what cos theta is, but we don't know what sine theta is, so we're going to have to figure it out. Um, we're going to do it the same way that we do all these questions. We know that cos theta is equal to negative 2 over 3, so this is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Um, so the opposite is equal to the square root of 3 squared minus 2 squared, uh, which is root 5. And so that gives us sine theta. And by the way, we noticed that um, cos, two, cos theta is negative, which means we could be in quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. So that means that sine 2 theta could actually be positive or negative. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, so sine of theta is positive negative root 5 over the hypotenuse, which is 3. So we're going to fill that in 2 times plus minus root 5 over 3 times negative 2 over 3. Plus minus times negative is still plus minus, so you don't have to worry about that negative there. We'll just multiply all these numbers together, so we get plus minus 4 root 5 over 9. And that is sine 2 theta, the exact value. So we're going to do exactly the same thing for this one. Tan theta equals negative 3 over 4. Uh, and you'll notice that we have a specific quadrant that we're doing. So why don't you pause the video, and I will pause the video, and uh, try the question, and I'll come back with the answer. Okay, so welcome back, and hopefully you solved it, and you got 7 over 25. So the way I did it was I noticed that 3 pi over 2 is less than or equal to theta, is less than or equal to 2 pi, means that it's in quadrant 4. So that tells us that cos is positive, and uh, the adjacent is 4, and the opposite is negative 3. Um, because we're in this quadrant, so the y value is negative and the x value is positive. The hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem is 5, so we have cos theta equals 4 over 5. Then I just use my formula right here. You could also find that sine theta is equal to negative uh, 3 over 5, and then use the other formulas. Um, either you could use cos 2 theta equals cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, since we found them both right here, or you could have found uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared theta and either way, you should get 7 over 25, okay? Next, we're going to use a double angle formula to find cos 15 degrees. Uh, we did do this yesterday using the compound angle formula, but we're going to do it with the double angle formula. So, first of all, we notice that cos 15 degrees is what we want, so we're going to let theta equal 15 degrees, because we know that's actually half of 30, so 2 theta is equal to 30 degrees. So we're going to use a formula that uses 2 theta and theta and a cos, okay? So I want cos theta. I know that if I use sine theta, like if I did uh, sine 2 theta, I'm going to get 2 sine theta cos theta, which is no good. I just want one of them, so I can't use this formula. Now, obviously, I'm not going to use tan, um, but if I do use cos 2 theta, I have three picks. I could do 2 cos squared theta minus 1. I could do cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, and I could do uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. And because I want to use, I want to find cos 15, I want to use this first formula right here. So, sorry, um, so that is the one that I'm going to use. Uh, so let's substitute everything in. Cos 2 theta, 2 theta is going to be 30 degrees, so cos 30 degrees is equal to 2 cos 
15 degrees, cos theta minus 1. And then I can actually solve for this, because I know what cos 30 degrees is. It's root 3 over 2. So I will just fill that in, and then I can isolate for cos 15. Oops, I forgot the squared there. Let's just add that in. Just double check your work, and you know, if you make mistakes, you can always uh, go back and make sure that you get it right. So I'm just going to go ahead and isolate my 15 degrees. I get uh, root 3 plus 2 over 4, because 2 t divide by 2 equals cos squared 15 degrees. So cos 15 degrees. And I know it has to be positive because it is in quadrant 1, is equal to the square root of root 3 plus 2 over the square root of 4, which is 2. So that's our answer. So it's in a slightly different form, but they are the same solution. It'll give you the same number. Okay? So we're going to do a very similar thing for the next two questions. They ask you to de determine a formula for sine x over 2. So again, think about theta equals x over 2 and 2 theta equals x, okay? So using this and what we know about these formulas right here, why don't you pause the video and do sine x over 2 and also do for e cos x over 2. And then I will pause the video as well and I will come back to you. Okay, welcome back once again. So uh, I've used this formula, cos 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. The reason I don't want to use uh, sine 2 theta is because then I get 2 sine theta cos theta. And again, I just want to isolate sine theta. I don't want that cos theta to be involved. So you can see cos 2 theta is really useful. Um, so I'm just going to um, substitute the thetas in and then isolate for sine x over 2. You get an answer plus minus square root cos x minus 1 over 2 because we don't really know what x is so we don't know what quadrant sine is in. Um, and so the same goes for cos 2 theta. We substitute it into this formula and we isolate for cos x over 2 and we get an answer. So hopefully that helped you out um, and you can get, ask me any questions you have in class. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.